Hey everybody, in this reading we're looking at the most important thing that you need to know about right now at this very moment. And uh, this thing could be about love, friendship, trips, work, whatever comes up. I'll do one spread and maybe an additional clarification uh, spread if necessary. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's the uh, most important thing for you right now is. Um, we have uh, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Magician, clarified by Judgment. We have uh, the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands. And we have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have uh, Gemini on the table. This is a bit of a tricky spread. Aquarius, because judgment right there in the middle, clarifying the magician, judgment could be a card of somebody coming back from the past, and it's also a card of somebody having to make a judgment call, right? Somebody is trying to resurrect something. <laughs> That's what I see with the magician. The magician is trying to use their tricks to resurrect something with the judgment card. Or maybe you have to make a judgment call in order for this to be resurrected. And you have the power to resurrect this. Right, or you have the power to call a shot, right? But the you, the person you're dealing with is the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, right? Kind of symbolic that the King is clarified by the Knight, and both of them are Pentacles. So it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. If they're not an Earth sign, it could be somebody who is wealthy, somebody who is an entrepreneur, somebody who works for a financial institution. This spread, by the way, doesn't have to be about love. It could be, but doesn't have to be. It could be about work, business, finances in some shape or form. Okay? And from what I see here, chances are this person is probably from your past or they want you, if it's a new person, they may want you to resurrect something or do something that you've done in the past. You know? <laughs> Uh, on the bottom of the deck we have the Two of Swords, which is a crossroads card, and at the same time it could be a card of like ceasefire. I often refer to this card as a ceasefire or armistice. Perhaps the two of you already have history, it could be an ex coming back to you, or something like that. And perhaps this person wants to bury the hatchet with you, they want you on board, or the Two of Swords, it could be simply you looking at options. Speaking of options, right next to the deck we have the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands. The Seven of Cups is a card of multiple options, multiple choices in front of us. It could be also a card of illusions. <laughs> it could be a card of uncertainty and clarity. It could be a card of somebody's judgment being clouded. Or it could be like a bit of a dreamy energy. Right, and uh, the Ten of Wands, clarifying it is a card of a burden. So, you having all these options in front of you could be a burden, or you having to choose could be a burden, or this whole situation is just, the, since you're, you're not really sure, you're not really clear, that could be a burden. But this person, from what I see here, this person means business, right? The Knight of Pentacles, clarifying the King of Pentacles, is a very serious knight. It's the most financially abundant knight out of all the knights. The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term. It's the most serious, grounded knight out of all the knights as well. All right, so this King of Pentacles is coming your way or coming back your way. I think they really want to either resurrect this or they want you on board or something like that. All right, interesting, <laughs> interesting reading, Aquarius. It really is. Um, all right, and uh, we're in the middle of a Mercury retrograde right now. So if this person is from your past or they want to resurrect something from your past, I wouldn't be surprised because this is what usually happens during Mercury retrograde. Things or people, situations from a, from the past resurface. And uh, perhaps with the... Uh, Seven of Cups and a Ten of Wands, you're just not really sure if you want to resurrect something like this or if you want to go back there. Or maybe it's just too tough for you. Maybe it's just way behind you at this point. So uh, I want to do a second spread. Um, let's take a look at the uh, second spread and I'll be asking for an advice for you. All right? Cool. So here's the second spread, Aquarius. Uh, this is the advice for you for uh, the situation we saw in the previous spread. We have the Three of Wands, clarified by the Chariot. We have the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, clarified by the High Priestess. And we have the World on the bottom of the deck. Well, this spread got even more mysterious, <laughs> Aquarius. But uh, let's, uh, let's try to decipher what we have. 
Okay, the world on the bottom of the deck is a card of an ending, but it's a happy end card. That's how I usually interpret it, a happy end. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end, and a better, happier chapter of your life is about to begin. It could also be a card of some place remote, so it could be a card of travel in some shape or form. Speaking of travel, all the way to your left. We start with the three of ones clarified by the chariot. The chariot could be a cancer, you know, but the chariot is a, could also be a card of literally going somewhere, okay, or moving, relocating. And uh, at the same time, the chariot is a card of victory, success, and triumph. And so is the six of ones, right there, kind of in the middle, the next card that came out, right? The six of ones is also a victory and success card. The six of ones is a card of attention, and you know what? Back in the day, the six of ones used to be called the proposal card, all right? <laughs> but it is a card of a victory and feeling good about yourself. The three of ones, though, is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who knows what they want, and uh, after that, there is no turning back. At the end, we have the Two of Cups, but uh, it's clarified by the High Priestess. You know, I was so glad to see the Two of Cups, and then the High Priestess showed up. Right? It's not a bad card. The High Priestess is not a bad card, but it is a card of a secret. It is a card of intuition. All right? So, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card, all right? But it's also a card of, like, a handshake. When I do my uh, work business and finances spreads in the um, in my weekly readings, I and if the Two of Cups shows up, I usually interpret it as a handshake card. So it could be like a secret agreement, secret handshake, secret partnership for some of you. Or if it is about love, um, I, the the High Priestess could simply be a very intuitive card, a bit of a mysterious card. <laughs> Right, and uh, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card, and it's a card of when two people are, are on the same page and feel the same way towards one another. So there is no rejection here. The world could be kind of interpreted as a card of a rejection because it is a card of an ending, right? But uh, I think the world is simply either a travel card or a start of a new chapter, a better, happier chapter for you. All right, so the advice for you is to give it a shot or give it another shot. All right. Um, and uh, it could be a win-win for both of you, right? Because we do we have two victory cards on the table. Or since it's a re it's a repetitive card, a repetitive energy, this is simply a way of the universe to confirm that yes, it's going to be a victory. Yes, you will feel good about this. Yes, it's the right thing that you're doing. Okay, Aquarius. I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments down below what what's going on here. Love, work secret partnerships, <laughs> secret alliances, or you're just, your intuition is going to kick in and tell you, yes, let's do this. All right, so um, Aquarius, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing April.